My name is Jaime Molina. Originally, I'm from New Mexico, but I grew up in Denver. My mom, she has a huge family in New Mexico, so it was like half of my life was there, you know? My identity and my kind of who I am is, is still kind of rooted there. I am kind of a multidisciplinary artist. I do a lot of murals, um, sculpture, um, kind of more traditional format paintings. It all came about just from always making art and always um, just making things, I guess, since I was little. It was really fun to be able to like, just to have a, a different way of telling the story. With a mural, there's an image and it's there and people can take what they want from it um, aesthetically. But to have stuff that it's like a completely immersive environment is, is really nice. There's so many different ways to um, make people feel something or take something away or dissect or whatever. And even the mural, like, kind of used to painting on walls, but painting the small pieces off on the other museum walls, like, I felt like I was maybe doing something wrong or something. <laughs> like, this is like, okay, there's your wall, like, paint it. Then kind of branching off onto the other walls was actually pretty fun. I thought it'd be super cool to make this big head that you could kind of get into, not just because it's, you know, kind of exciting to enlarge something you've already done, but also kind of metaphorically like being able to go inside someone's head and kind of look out the eyes and, you know, see things from a different perspective. When I was envisioning this head slash <laughs> shack, <laughs> whatever you'd call it, um, I was picturing somebody like kind of stumbling upon it in this like kind of dark forest or something. So it, the space that I was envisioning was like at night and um, the, the constellations that I ended up putting up were kind of specifically to um, support the idea of like making your own world. You know, it's like the stars are always there and they're free for everybody to look at. And there's all these like legends and, and stories that kind of like, well, that's Orion, that's, you know, Ursa Major, that's whatever, and they each have their own story. But I love the idea of somebody just saying like, ah, I don't really like that story, I don't know that one, but what about this, you know, like this one's a snake or this one's a, my brother's initials or, or whatever. I envisioned kind of like these memories or poems or kind of ideas floating away from this person. And each leaf is kind of representational of like a, a different memory. So that it has a different pattern, it has different colors. You know, it's like a, like a quilt of, of uh, experiences just kind of floating away. In the small sculptures, there's always an object or, or something inside. And that's kind of like, if you were to take 50,000 people and you actually like be able to get in their head and see what they're thinking, obviously it'd be vastly different every person you went to. So those things inside of the sculptures I make are always kind of representative of some other story or something that, that's in my mind unique to that person that I'm making. Um, so with this one, it was kind of interesting because to me, like the viewers and the people in the space were the object. All of a sudden, it's a living thing going in there and they are the story. I always feel like I ruin it when I talk about it because people have all these wonderful ideas and, and stories that they make up and it's like then I come along I'm like no no that's blah 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 and then all the magic is just gone you know what I mean there's some things that are personal and some stories and, and intentions or concepts but I don't want to like make it that for everybody like that's what it is for me and that's enough you know I love it I think it's even better than I imagined um, just like the warmness of it and the um, openness like inviting people to come and, and explore, which is kind of not usually what you expect at a museum. It's usually like just to look and keep your distance, don't touch. So having a space where people can come in and like climb on everything and touch it, um, I think that's a good, good quality to how it came out.